What's good with y'all, man? Y'all back to on your boy Charlie. You dig? Man, we're gonna talk about this um state property reunion and all that, man. I just seen a, a video with Sparks, man. That shit was looking fucked up, man. This big ass nigga just beating on Sparks like that, man. That shit looked crazy. I don't know what it was about, so I can't say too much about it. But it was crazy, man. But I um I see uh Oskino ain't really fucking with the team and shit. He's still saying neat buff or snitch and all that. But this is the thing I got to say about uh, Oskino. Like, and people, like, you got to, sometimes you got to put stuff in perspective. Because I come from the system, foster care, all of that type of shit. Well, you know what I mean? When you got a person like him, he's old school. Like, he's one of the, like, the OGs that I grew up under. So, when people judge him, they got to understand, like, he's a real street guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not no fake and phony with Oskino. You see what I'm saying? Like, he's like a real street guy. So, I think a lot of times people don't understand, like, his lingo or he doing too much and this and that. He really lived by the code. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times people get misconstrued with the code. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, if he feel like Neef snitching and these niggas ain't uh, retaliating or this and that, he gonna really look at it crazy because he don't want to be a part of a niggas, niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? As much as I like the state property and Beans is like one of my one of my favorite rappers of all time. Straight up, Benny Siegel. But like I say, man, uh, he lived by a different code and he's really that type of guy. So I think when you look at him and he doing his interviews, he's really telling you who he is, who his soul is. He come from the system and he come from that. So like a lot of people be saying crazy shit about him. He doing too much and he like he he won't let it go. You got that's he he's old school like he like that's how they act, bro. Like straight like that. All my old heads like that, man. Them niggas is they come they cut from that cloth. You doing time in jail, real? No, I mean all the stories that they come across, and they gonna live by the honorable code forever, cause that's who they are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you not if you not doing honorable code, they not gonna respect you. And Oskino is a real guy. Like <laughs> if you look at any of his interviews and shit like that. He always get respect to the niggas that's real. He always talk good about Dame Dash. You know what I mean? He know Dame Dash broke bread with him, looked out for him and shit like that. But like I say, y'all niggas got to start talking crazy, man. Like, he's old school, bro. He's he really about that code. So, like, I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I think he puts out some dope music and everything. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he one of them guys is a man of respect. It's an honor thing with him. You know what I'm saying? Just like the, when he had an issue with Meat Mill. It was like, bro, I'm going to do for you. You do for me. We, we doing it. We brothers. You see what I'm saying? And then you watch a lot of the older interviews, you would see Meat with him. And Meat was breaking bread and doing things. I mean, uh, Oskino was breaking bread with Meat and shit like that. So it's like, he respect, he wanted back. Like, do the same back. Like, you know what I'm saying? I broke bread for you. You broke bread for me. He's from the old school. He, he He's in that code. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that. Like, I was seeing uh, Carcino say some shit like, Meat don't owe him nothing. I'm like, he don't? I mean, by the code, the old, I mean, but like I say, when you start looking at the code, he do, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he don't owe nothing, he do, though, bro. Like, if a nigga break bread with you and a nigga look out for you and you ain't had nothing, how can you look past him? And all he ever done has been honorable to you. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like me in that situation, he could have did that. Like, what, what was going to hurt him? Me, me is hot. One of the hottest artists out, you know what I'm saying? For real, like, at that time, and still, he still is today. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's all it be, you know what I'm saying? Oskino is from the old school. He's like a real, he's a real guy. Like, he ain't one of these fake and phony ass niggas wearing purses and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that, man. That like when I watch his shit and I, and I see people blogging and saying crazy shit about him, I know that because I have... Like I said, old heads that live by that cold like that, that done time and crazy shit. And I come from the system, so I understand what he's saying. You feel what I'm saying? He's not about to ride around with a nigga that he know snitching. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he can't. And that just, that's real shit, bro. Like, so y'all gotta, you gotta understand the codes to understand Oskino. He's a real dude. He, he, he come from a real cloth. That's like Dane Dash is a real guy. He come from a real cloth. You know what I'm saying? He sees somebody doing fucking up the culture. He going to say something about it. They kind of like the same person. You know what I'm saying? They just in two different type of brackets as far as financially and shit like that. But character is like the same shit. 
that's all I got to say, man. It's time to discuss that, man. Y'all keep tuning in.